Hello, welcome to Money Inspiration. Today's episode is inspired by you and I have a big thank you because I asked a couple of days ago for ideas for things that would get you out of your comfort zone and things that I could do before this challenge finishes at the end of 2013 in less than 90 days. I got tons of suggestions so thank you to you if you're one of the people that suggested something to my friends on Facebook and I'm uh, now working my way through them. <laughs> so one of the first ones I'm doing is uh, logistically one of the easiest because I'm living up in the hills and it's not going to be that easy to do some of them. Uh, it's going to take a bit of planning but this one I can do with my computer. Yes! And it's quite funny, it's to join an online dating agency and to go on a date. Huh. So, um, yeah, I've never done that before. <laughs> uh, and uh, it's interesting because I live in France, but I have a lot of friends here who aren't French. And as I was thinking about this, I was like, should I join a French one or an English speaking one? And I think I'm going to join an English speaking one because. I've been out with a couple of French guys since I've been living here, it's been four years now, and I just don't think French people understand me <laughs> in the same way that non-French people do. You might know what I mean if you've lived in France. So here goes. I have my trusty companion next to me. <laughs> I'm not sure I can bring him on the date. <laughs> Riviera. Looking for love in France. <laughs> Riviera Beach single. Oh, how cheesy. <laughs> I don't necessarily need to find true love. <laughs> Are you an expatriate single? It's mm. going to be the one. I like this website because I already use it. This is the, um, the Global Expat Network, Anglo Info. Expat dating, we're launching our new online dating service. One month free, going live online. Click here to sign up. Hmm. Hmm. There's only 20 members. So I've had to give up searching for English speaking dating agencies here. I can't seem to find any for now apart from expat dating. It doesn't look very busy though, so I'm not sure about that. Uh, so I typed in agencies in France, you know, French speaking ones, and check it out. They're all marriage agencies. <laughs> Agence matrimoniale. Matrimoniale means like a marriage. Fidelio. Look at this, it's all matrimonial. Rencontre for seniors, so it's for, you know, the older generation. And I typed in Agence de Rencontre, which is like, um, Rencontre is like a date here, so I thought, you know, dating agency. I did not realise that means marriage agency. So, you know, I'm willing to do a lot of new things in the name of Inspiraction, but I'm not sure getting married <laughs> to someone French is one of them. Um, okay, I might have one. And thanks to my internet marketing skills, I can check if it's legit or not. <laughs> so I was just checking out this website here, Connecting Singles, and I thought, I don't know, let me see how many, how much Alexa ranking it has. So 42,000, but this basically means how popular the website is. And it has five, nearly 500 sites linking in. It's not bad, so I think it might be more promising. It has loads of people. I probably shouldn't show them, should I? Uh, so I think I might go with this one, even though it looks a little bit tacky. <laughs> uh, oh. But at least there are people under the age of 40 on this one, which is, you know, a bonus. Not that I actually have anything against older men. Um, I haven't really thought about it very much, to be honest. Okay, I'm almost in. Check it out. Do you have kids? No way. Definitely. Someday. Not sure. Probably not. 
No, and seeking same. Welcome yours. Been there, done that. But I love my grandkids. <laughs> I'm going for Sunday. This is making me laugh. Check it out. So it's asking, do you drink? And you know, I it, I go through phases, but at the moment I like to drink a glass of wine, you know, in the evening, which means regularly. But apparently, this means that I'm an alcoholic because <laughs> the other options are um, less frequent, never, rarely, occasionally, socially gave it up so i'm going to stick with regularly but i bet they'll think i'm some kind of alcoholic <laughs> okay i've also joined the english speaking one so i just want to you know at least keep the options open for an english speaking date to happen not a french speaking <laughs> i don't even remember who it was who suggested this but oh gosh what have you done <laughs> see you tomorrow